Oh. Oh. Oh my God. I did it. That's a skill. That's a skill that I've developed through years of playing games. All right. I'm familiar. That was good. Okay. Oh yeah. It bit. They they bit each other a lot. Basically. Jesus. On the bright side, though, we got our dog fat recently a little bit, so nice. she has a lot of a lot of padding. She was she was fine. I even brushed her all over to make sure see if she had any tender areas, and she seemed fine. That's one thing I'm worried about if I lose enough weight is that if other humans bite me, I'm more vulnerable. <laughs> you, that's a genuine worry, dude. <laughs> it's what a if, genuine what if problem the zombies, here. What if the saliva has to get to your bloodstream, like, and it just gets caught up in your your belly or something? Who knows? What, yeah. What if I what if I'm like dying, like in Pulp Fiction, mm -hmm. and they need to inject epinephrine in my heart? Yeah, that could that could change things. Did you see your yeah. against a viper this game? I did. I did, okay. man. I'm ready. All right, remember, level one. I'm ready one. to click, man. I'm ready to go. Let's do it, man. Trade him when you have an advantage. Uphill, creeps are helping, stuff like that. And remember, he sucks at level one. He sucks at level one. He sucks at level one. Right. Is there any chance I could steal two tangos, please? All right. I do not know if... Hey, Elder, hey, Elder Titan, Titan, can I steal some tangos? Steal some tangos? All right, I think I think you should just buy a tango and just head to the mid lane. Okay. Because you're going to be against a viper, you might need extra regen anyways. All right, Bill Doberman, he's my kind of guy, man. He's talking loud. He's looking proud. Oh, see, look. Oh, I can control the camera here. Look at this. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna wander around like that. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you in game so we don't hear the echo, okay? Remind, Hi. remind me later. Okay, so I want this, and then this, and then I'm up against a Viper who does cast a lot of spells, so I will be wanting a magic stick early. Uh, what? Viper casting spells? What are you talking about? Does each instance of his Q not take up the magic stick? That ain't a spell, bro. You have to be not silenced to what? cast it, but that would be stupid if that was a spell. You get so many magic stick charges. Every time he attacks, you get a magic stick. Come on. Oh, oh. shit. Alright, you're dead. Good luck. Just kidding, you're fine. Yo, these guys are afraid. All right, start regening because you're gonna need it. Yep, I already did it. Except I'm going to miss my creep block. So yeah, Viper's only spells is ultimate. That's why you should have beaten that silencer. You messed up. Okay, so in this case, I am not interested in getting a wand. There's nobody here. Uh, get that last hit, then go get a tango regen. Okay. All right, go tango, tango, tango. Go, go get a tango. All okay, right, man. Because you're gonna miss. You're gonna be losing HP. So I'm looking for opportunities to hit his stuff. That's I did not get that one last hit. It's really sad. It's right here. Is there no way to see your last hits in game? That's annoying. Oh wait, there it is. Nope, that's FPS. So far, so good. Oh, come on. So I am getting the E right now. Uh, I think that was a mistake. But okay. If if you use a spell with E, you gotta right click him like twice. You see, you got he's got corrosive. Okay. All right, tangle it up. You're missing. Uh, that's fine. Nuke it. Get that nuke. All right. I'm sorry. Conflicting information. <laughs> All right. Worst case. No, no, no. That was my bad. That was my bad. Okay. You should have gotten your stun at too, because that's gonna change whether or not he kills you, most likely in a trade. I so I'm doing this because I really want to get the last hit, and I'm uphill. Or downhill, excuse me. You can maybe right-click him here. You've got Fiery Soul. Alright. So he's kind of... He's trading fairly well. Tango it up. Um, we're going to be going to Shrine somewhat soon. Alright, you definitely should have gotten Dragon Slave at level 3 now. Because now you're getting less efficiency with your mana. <laughs> but that's fine. You'll fix it next level. Just keep right-clicking. Right-click him right now. Oh, right. this bastard has a... He has a Drow on his team too. This is Karma. Oh. This is how it feels. So I should actually be just looking to walk up the ground. My, my attack can go off. We need to mess up the equilibrium because it's sitting in a good place for him. I think he might have a ward too. Nuke this way to get the last hit. Ooh, that was close. Try to position it so you get a harass in it as well next time. Yeah. So here's... Uh, uh, careful. Uh, Alright, it's pretty soon trying. Just nuke out this wave. Like, double nuke it or something. And then... Uh, Way too close to him. Oh, yeah. I live life on the edge. I didn't get this last hit, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here, man. Uh... Woo! 
it's relatively okay. Right. And I'll get bottle soon too. Okay, I gotta sit up more because my microphone. My microphone blocks my uh Good old classic oh, three great. minutes. The old neutral AoE on you. Did you know you just took a hundred and some damage? All right, you yeah. got to nuke this wave to push it. You're about to hit four. I, I'm sorry. I should have told you to wait half a second and then. Yeah, I hit him. This is good. This is good. You stun. Keep hitting him. Yeah. All right, slave. You got this. Get him. Get him. Oh yes. La la it's... la. Okay. Nearly uh, dead. Triple bottle. La la la. <laughs> All right, stay mid, stay mid, stay mid. There's shit to do. Go nuke that wave. Nobody's here. Uh, get that last hit. Nice. Uh, All right, last bottle. All right, get the run. fuck out of this game. All right. Um. So <laughs> now is the is the bounty rune top? If the bounty rune's top, go top. The bounty rune up here? Yeah. Is it is it, is it in your side? No. There, there's no bounty runes left on the map. Uh, okay. Go prep for the next bounty rune. Uh, or, or you can sit mid. Just sit mid. Sit mid a little bit, and then wait until this rune's about to spawn, and maybe you'll get lucky. You should stand closer this way, because this creeps are dying. The creeps. Oh, okay. for experience. Okay, there you go. Oh, I'm All so right. lucky. Pop that. Invisible. Just go through the charges. You need the regen. Well, I'm going to get over here. And I need you to buy boots, too. Send Thank that back. You. Fuck that enigma. You need boots. All right, that was dangerous, because that range creep is now getting denied. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm totally, I'm totally overwhelmed. Okay. All right, so I got my boots coming. Um, my hotbar went completely empty, because I accidentally right-clicked my boots earlier. Okay. Oh shit, attack didn't go. Uh, so Use your bottle charge. So I'm trying to even this wave up. So I'm oh, going to hit this once. Yeah, that's good. And then hit the range group twice. Perfect. That was great. Okay. Yeah! Now so this is where should. I go back to our room. Yeah, go, go, go for that bottle. I think that's relatively okay. You might miss so like I, a last hit, but it's fine. I'm skipping my wand in order to just immediately get my... Arcanes. Yeah. I think that's good. Um, you could also potentially get a raindrop. It won't do much for survivability, but it'll give you mana. I would bottle through this right now, and then get back mid ASAP. And then just keep on bottling. Just nuke the wave out, basically. Except uh, you probably should hit the range creep first. Okay, you're fine. No, it's too fucking good, man. All right, pop that bottle. So pop do you it. see how pop you're kind of just beating him just with nukes? Like you're just nuking waves yeah. and. <laughs> So just oh play, my God. play passive until you get your arcanes, okay? Because once you get arcanes, you have a stupid amount of mana. Yeah, attack the range creep like three, twice, maybe. I only hit once. Okay. You know your hero. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking bold statement, man. All right, go back to base. Run home, run home. You're going the wrong why? way right now. Why, why not to get arcanes? Oh, wait. Let me just... Um. Okay, get arcanes. That's fine. You're fine. Uh, that was a good move. Uh, because yeah, you can yeah, grab the bounty after... I was yeah. thinking you had like 30 seconds until something was to be done, so it'd make more sense to go hit up fountain. But grab arcanes, drop your. Uh, okay, never mind. Just wait five oh, seconds. Yeah. Grab the bounty. Hitting last. Okay, this guy is nukeable. Oh, we'll check top rune. Okay, it's bot rune. Go mid. Oh, uh, shit. Are you going back mid? Yeah, yeah. I just <sighs> misclicked slightly because of <sighs> cat hair, okay. and uh, I path wrong as a result. So he is 130. Okay, if he, if he steps forward, if he steps forward, we just kill him. Yeah, absolutely. Stun him. Uh, Shoot yeah. him! Okay, there you go. Uh, careful, careful, careful. Okay, you're good. Yeah. Give it the nuke, and then go hit up Shrine. Okay. I'm running home. Uh, home works. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, uh, should I uh, not be getting infused raindrops? Just... Um, I never get it. I think buy it this game. Buy this game. And then buy some TPs. You should be walking home as you do this. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't just wait next time. Uh, <laughs> get... Dude, dude I, I did that, and then I hit F3. <laughs> to get, my get, get another TP, and then you're going to TP to the mid lane any second. And then just nuke it out, basically. Yep. Nuke right now. Perfect. Well, you have found regen. Did that last hit? Oh, you wasted your... Oh, no, you're fine on the bottle. Never mind. That was perfect. Uh, make sure you last at the illusions. They give you gold. Yeah. Beautiful. Totally disoriented. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is vaguely trying to clear this out. That's fine. 
Um, and then uh, I'm looking for opportunities to push so I can go do jungly things. Um, yeah, that could work. Um, wait, wait till you stop taking poison damage and then bottle. Um, although maybe you can nuke this wave. Yeah, you can certainly nuke this wave. Just hit the range group once. Uh, I don't need to. Oh, I'm yeah, you're right. Four, so I can Three twenty. do it like this, and then I can... Yeah! Okay, check for top rune. Oh, it's a DD. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. You messed up your bottle charger. You're taking poison damage. Son of a bitch. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I would head towards the top lane. I'll go... Unless really? you think you can yep. kill him. Oh, yeah. It's just going. dangerous because your HP is at half already. Like, this is really... That was so dangerous. You gotta stun him. Here. All right, you fucked up real bad. So your your problem is that you're not attacking yeah. with your spells, and you needed to yeah. stun him to start. You can't open up with nukes because if you open with, up with nukes, he's still gonna be able to cast his ulti and stuff. But if you throw your stun and it lands, then you just go through your whole rotation. You attack him like twice. It's easy. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, that's right. If he's getting corrosive skin, that's why he's dealing less magic damage. Because I I counted his health when I looked, and I was like, oh yeah, I should be able to kill him here. Yeah. But but you had corrosive, and you had a DD as well, and you had attack speed from casting spells. You could have just thrown an attack really fast. Yeah. All um, right. You can't really do that until you get your ult again. So just keep doing uh, lane stuff until then. The other mm. dangerous thing to keep in mind: you're at half HP when you tried that. Whereas if you had gotten like more bottle charges in, I'd head to the top fight, see if that continues. I think this you... is something I'm very weak at. Is oh I see because I'm pushing oh, push the lane. This is what pushman said. Because I pushed the lane, this is what's giving me the opportunity to even consider walking out like this. Yeah. Uh, the reason I told you to push the lane instead is because it looked like the fight wasn't going to happen anymore. Time is money. Just don't get hooked here, and I think you're good. I would consider walking to Pudge, though. If he's by himself, you can certainly kill him solo. Um, I'm unsure what to think. Don't hit the I'm tower. Gonna... Sit back. This is dangerous. So you don't really know where they are. Now you can come forward and hit the creep wave, but you probably that could have been a time for you to walk towards the jungle or walk towards the pudge, I think would have been better. And certainly set high ground right now. It's so really dangerous. Scares me. Stand right here. Oh, never mind. Not, not anymore. Oh, shit, I misclicked. Do you see how little vision you had in that moment? Like, you had no idea yeah. where the enemy heroes were. But if you stood high ground, at least, you could have seen. There is a rune top rune, by the way. Thank you. I would use this to go kill the draw ranger. I would go this way. Yeah, I'm just using all my bottle charges. Make sure you go north. You want to attack from behind. Alright, kill the Pudge. Just spam ping the shit out of him. Just land the stun, you're good. You're gonna have to chase more. Go for another stun. Right. Yeah! Draw, 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 draw. Nice. Yeah! Alright, and pop our canes, and then TP back to bot lane, or to mid lane. Okay. And the reason I'm TPing mid lane is that... Because it's unlikely you guys are going to take the tower like this. It's too early. So instead, just go back mid and go back to farming. And look how efficient that was. You left the lane for like two waves. You just crapped on the top lane. And now you're back to farming and pushing mid. So now so... top lane's being pushed, and so is mid. Oh my god. Oh god damn. You are just... You are the fucking best. I hope I just... Uh, uh, so now uh, I'm going to run here, yeah. right? Yeah, that looks good. Do a little jungling, unless the life stealer goes for it. Yeah, this is fine. You know what? Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, there's a punch down here. Do you see him? Uh, yep. Your bottom tower is under attack. This is kind of scary for you. It's okay. I'm invincible. Follow the other titan. No, that's fine. Um, I would drop your arcane boots and use the fountain. Put them on the floor. Put them on the uh, floor. Put them on the floor. Okay, there we go. That works too. Alright, now put them back in. There you go. Alright, go back mid. Yeah, I've been okay about the drop pickup. Ugh! Ugh! Oh, I got all four. So okay. sick! Rune spawn, do you want to check for him? Yep. See if it's there. I'm just gonna get lucky up here again. Oh, he got it. That too slow. Guy. Um, if you had gone there ten seconds earlier or something, you might have been able to get it. True, true. Do you see what items he has? Nope. I, Dragon I Lance, Aquila, on. Magic Stick with seven charges. So he's pretty hard to kill right now. So I'd be really careful if you decide to go for him. You're gonna have to right-click him a lot to kill him. Okay, so I'm going to just continually, continuously pull back here. Yep, and you can go jungle now. Go, go over here. Grab Bounty Rune, farm those camps on the way. Maybe rotate to the top lane. Yeah. 
you can use your arcanes as well. Okay, I would... I would just farm for now, I think this is okay. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, it's making so much sense when you say, okay, now push, push this mid. lane and walk forward. Go mid, go mid, you're going the wrong way. Uh, and the reason I am not just trying to finish off those other guys is because I am... Because there's just... More. And you can pressure the map by pushing this lane while farming it. Oh! And the centaur camps take a while to kill. Like, the, the strong centaurs have 1100 HP. You can't do that much damage that fast. Whereas if you come up to a creep wave, they're all below, like, 600. So now it's easy. So I should be just pushing this and going to farm intermittently. Yep, pretty much. Done. Okay. Pushed again. Look, like, has Viper even been able to lane against you? Man, fuck no, he hasn't, he hasn't heard. Are you shit. kidding me? This exactly. dragon lizard idiot with his stupid wings and no legs who still buys boots, man, fuck this guy. Exactly. Yeah, we're killing him, man. We're crushing. We feel good right now, man. Let me this tell is, you, I'm a powerful and fiery great. woman. Wait for the bounty. Pop our canes, too. Uh, it's like 10 seconds. That's yes, fine. Sir. Just stand, like, right here. And then nuke this small camp. Stand here. Where's here? I'm pinging. Can't you see the pings? No. Oh, shit. Move to, to the southeast a little bit. There's a small camp to the right of you, basically. You can just nuke it with oh, the oh, light strike and dragon slave, and you could have killed it while you were waiting 10 seconds. Okay, no! go back mid. Did you get... You got two, at least? That's yeah. good. Good enough. Done. Good um, enough. No problem, man. Um, I'm not super sold on a Aether Lens here. I don't know if that's going to be the right thing. Uh, make sure you get the cast range at 15. Don't get the minus respawn time. That's a terrible choice. Wait, really? Yeah, Are we serious? Really? You, no you, way. You buy art, you buy Aether Lens. You want cast range, don't you? Yeah. I, 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 well, I mean, I like minus 30 second respawn time. I always did that. That's bad, dude. Oh, shit. I minimized everything. I actually don't understand why that's bad. Because okay, so I'm going to go because this is pushing. Cast range gives you the potential to land stuns on people and increases the range of your Yule Scepter. The whole reason you buy your Aether Lens is so that it's easier to do your combo from range, pretty much. I like that you're top. Oh, that's perfect. Too early. Almost perfect. Alright, you're good. Uh, pop our canes and then push with your team. You guys should be able to take the tower now because you're a lot stronger. And I like the eggs choice. I think that's a good way to, to go next. Well, the thing is that, like... You need to sit back here. Oh, you can't see. Oh, yeah. Look. That was just a misclick. I was microing the bird. Um, I feel like if I, if I get the... Well, okay, so I agree that casting range is really good thing, right? Okay. Like, this is why I love getting Aether Lens, but I don't... Go this way. Can you see my drawings on the map? No, I actually can't see, anything, can't see anything on the okay. map. Okay, I think they, I they, they just changed coaching. The coaching got messed up with the new update, so that's probably why. Okay, yeah, because this was working like yesterday. I'm just going to do this since I see the guy. Hey, okay, good. All right, you could also come up here. Go up here, uh, north of you, and go push that wave a little. And you can do it safely from trees. They won't even necessarily need to see you. So this is another way to pressure the map. There's a bunch of shit going on on your side. Uh, put your TP in your inventory. Why is this guy here? Kill this guy. You can kill him. He's missing a half. Oh hour. shit. Yeah. No, I just I just messed up. Okay. I uh, whiffed my yules. I've been whiffing my yules lately. So, like, as in like literally not even hitting it. That's fine. All right. See I'm gonna go stays. back just, up. Just just wait here. Down. Don't don't show yet. Don't show. See if he comes back or like walk next to the tower, like into the jungle a little bit, and see if he's here. All right, he's not. Just push the wave. Oh, there's Necro. You can kill that guy, probably. Yeah, he's got 1,100 HP. It's maybe a little tough. You can just nuke the wave. Just right-click the crap out of that guy. He's going to use ghost thing or whatever. Just run. He's fine. All right, so... He didn't die. Nuke this and then run. Perfect. But do you see what you did, impact-wise? Yeah, nobody is pushing bottom again. And now they just TP heroes to the top lane because their Necro almost died. Um, I would, yeah, just TP home, I think. There's no camps on the map, at least for a bit. Oh, dude, I don't know if you saw this, but the TP home, you say? Yeah. Just get your mana full, basically, and grab your items. Um, swap your point booster with your infused raindrop and your staff with your TP scroll. Oops, thank you. And then go head out once you walk Oops. mid. Oops, I forgot to use spell to move faster. It's okay. Okay, so I, I tab throughout the game just to keep tabs on what people's levels are, and I use it as just a rough mm -hmm. proxy for, like, if they're, if they're good or if they're bad or if we're doing horribly or not. Yeah, what are your thoughts from it? Um, I should really only be scared of the Venomancer. Not really. 
He's got a lot of levels, but that doesn't mean that you should be scared of him. Uh, you can go just oh, right click him. Just right click him, it's fine. Hey, you're helping. Hey. Oh, can you use that guy? There's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy. Oh, shit. Alright, good. You guys won the game. Alright, here's the scary guy. Alright, you're good. Oh, he's actually insanely fucking farmed. <laughs> oh, god. That guy's really farmed. Use another new card. So you just lost your three stack of Fiery Soul. Try to keep an eye on that. Yep. Alright, you guys can probably go push other places now. Because I was successful. I would nuke this one more time. Yep. You did it. Alright, you're playing Lena. Uh, if you had a TP, I would love for you to TP top. But grab the haste instead. Don't use it though. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh! oh! Fucking motherfucker! <laughs> nice oh, piece. man. Oh! <laughs> Go farm, farm these creeps instead. Oh, fuck. And I do this. I can't believe we're a team. Alright, gr team. grab the bounty at least. Yeah. That'll no, give you a little, a little something. Fine right now, man. Oh. That bastard. Sir. Yeah! He got you I real hope, good. I don't believe that. I can't believe it. Oh my god. So, do you do you know what Ags does for Lena exactly? It's, uh, yeah, it gives me your damage. Okay. Just like, point working. And you know it goes through BKB, right? Yes, and okay. since there's a Viper on the end of the team, that's really useful because he has it. That's true. Um, it's also good against Pudge as well. Why is it good against Pudge? Pudge also has magic resistance built in. Well, maybe it's bad because he has so much raw HP that it's kind of meh, but your audio is getting a little weird too. I don't know why. It's like getting quiet. Uh, quiet? Is it? Might be on my side. Oh. Murder this guy. Oh, I like that you held your ulti. That was good. Alright, go more. Can you kill that guy? Yeah, this is great. Should be looking for more kills. Tower stop aggro. Alright, you ditched your team real good. Yeah, I was getting tower aggro and uh Yeah. To do the uh Oh get this bounty rune and buy out. I'll be okay. Yeah, we'll see. Wow, report Lena. You deserve that one. You should have gone in. Yeah. That was almost as bad as stealing somebody's haste rune when you don't have a bottle. It's pretty close. Why? Me. This is sort of dangerous. Hypothetically, they could chase you, but yeah, they probably gave up. You'd be dead otherwise. Uh, well, I had the power of Yules because I didn't use it even once. Right now. That's fine. Entire fight. So what do you think you should do now for your item itemization? Uh, okay, so given the fact that, let's see their team, they got a Necrophos, a Drow, uh, so that's a slow, a slow, a melee, and uh, a weird man, so I'm going to stay. I would, I think force is okay. I would also be worried a little bit about the amount of physical damage they have, potentially. Or you could just solve all these issues by buying a BKB. That's an option. Because if uh, Venno ultis you, for example, you're kind of just going to die. Because he does too much magic damage. But if you BKB, you don't have to worry about nukes. You don't have to worry about... You still have to worry about physical, but it's an option. It's basically either you get BKB, Force, or Shiva's Guard, I think. Or you could just buy raw HP items. You could buy something like an Octarine Core, I feel. Oh, Octarine Core, yes sir, you, like you that? got it. That's Jeez. my literal favorite item in the game. That's right. Turn the speakers up, man. Okay. Because Sean's about to get pumped for Octarine. So it's it's good for a couple reasons. Um, raw tons of raw HP, which is good against variety of damage types. Um, eh, it's okay. Oh, never mind. Hey, you did it! Yeah! Oh, there's Viper. Oh, Wants to you fly are so okay. Good, good padding. That was good. That was good. All right, this guy's gonna go. I think it's time to leave this lane, because there's, there's like four heroes down here. This is very dangerous. Um, I'd even swap your TP, maybe. They might cut you off on the way home. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Octarine is okay. It'll be decent. I would maybe consider... You could even do something like buy a plate mail and then get Octarine and ignore the plate mail. Just like have it. Um, you could do Ghost Scepter. And make Octarine. That would be fun. You go like Octarine, 
Ghost Scepter into E-Blade. You ever gotten E-Blade on Lena? Never got an E-Blade on Lena. I think I've only ever gotten it with Nyx Assassin. All right, you're missing a lot it. of HP, by the way. Oh my god. This guy's just a dick. Yeah. Did, you, did you see that? Yeah, no, I saw it. and I, You know what? I felt it. I felt it inside okay, of me as yeah, well. That would have been really nice. Oh my god! He takes the room. Alright, I'm, all right, I'm going to report this guy. This is done. When, this, oh, when we get to end game screen, he's getting it. Push the push the top lane. Just nuke it. Or play. I will never consider reportable offense. I don't know, man. All right, slap them towers. Oh. All right, see if you can. Uh, don't go towards the viper. Uh, I mean, all right, commit. Do something. Oh, that was a good ult. All right, good choice. Come on. Yeah, you know, I think you're making the right choice. I would just TP home right now, if you want. Just like I'm gonna run a little bit more because I'm fucking horrified. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Let's be real. Enigma deserved that. He had it coming. Um, so I would probably buy more TPs. Um, you can probably oh, sell your raindrop at this point. Um, you could oh. also just stroll towards the the top the secret shop and go pick up your point booster. And in terms of identifying why I might need more health, is it the fact that they have a lot of sort of continuous damage abilities? Like, what is it? They have basically two major damage sources, like two different kinds. They've got a lot of physical, and they've got a lot of magic. So if you buy armor, you're covered against physical. If you buy, like, magic resistance, you're covered against magic. But if you just get raw HP, it kind of covers both. So I thought of an item that will give you increased raw HP while also helping you scale better as a hero. And I would definitely swap those items out. Swap out the Null Talisman and the, and the uh, yeah, perfect. Those That'll help more benefit. Yeah, that's all more benefit. So I wanted to get something that gives a mix of both. It's maybe not the most ideal. If you're a pro player or something, you probably get like a yeah. Shadow Blade or a Blink Dagger, most likely, so that you can move around the map faster instead of ganks. But I think this is more than fine. They just smoked. You might want to type that, because I don't think your team's going to notice. That's fine. This is eventually. really dangerous. You should run directly left. Like, run northwest. They might cut you off right now. Because, yeah, see where they are. <laughs> okay, you didn't type any. Do you just want your team to die? Uh, no, no. It's just that I was very worried about my own position. You did it, Enigma. You should really be running right now. Alright, you are in a lot of trouble. Oh, this guy's going to save your life? Kill that viper? You got this. Yes. Alright, now you're dead. Alright, always stun first if somebody's damaging you. Always. Oh, yeah, I, I thought I did. I just, I just literally whipped it. Okay. Now, I want to imagine right now that I had... A four staff? A, no, 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 not that. Because we're going Octarine Corn, let me tell you. There's something, <laughs> okay. there's something important about going Octarine Corn that just feels good. I love just... Especially when... We, oh, shit, reality. I'm still starting to show that. Um, there's something really fantastic about having minus 30 second respawn time right now that convinces me that it's good. Is it? Is it just that... Why get the respawn time when I can have more impact in the battles? Basically, yeah. I mean, you could be alive right now, but this would be the first time it had been useful all game, when I guarantee you've used the plus 125 range a few times already. Interesting. You get me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's like, I imagine that someone says, okay, yeah, like, you can get an Aether Lens to get all the range you would need anyways, yeah. and anytime you die, you'd be able to come back quicker and so you would pay off that Aether Lens very quickly. Like, I can see arguments for It's a possibility, know. but it's also playing around the fact that you're going to be dead. You can... Okay, good. Um, make sure you don't buy an energy booster, by the way. You're going to do a disassemble later. Okay, so just farm towards your Mystic Staff. Oh, shit. Yeah, you get that illusion, dude. Lena illusions, you got to watch out for those. They're strong. Okay, so I mean, what, what do you think you should do right now on the map? Uh, just jungle. That's oh, exactly yeah, sure, that's what I would do. Uh, pushing is really good. Somebody should probably go top and push the top lane out. Basically, pushing all lanes out is really good. And yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to do that mid. I often get a relatively quick um, uh, boots of travel. Like I, I my, think... my typical build is Yule Scepter, Aether Lens. You can kill the draw mid. Oh shit! There's a lot of heroes in the jungle. There's heroes everywhere. Oh, you're fucking dead. Alright, this would have been a good time to have a BKB. 
Yeah. So this whole octarine thing is kind of hurting us heavily because there's basically this like 5,900 gold range where you have no item that actually will make a difference because like having an extra 400 HP is not the difference between you living and dying there. Do a void. Go for it. Oh shit. Well, at least he bashed the pudge. Oh, never mind. That's not going to matter either. I think the damage is going to be perfectly evenly distributed among all these people. Yeah. Necro definitely helps with that, with Death Pulse and Mech. So now the issue is basically, like, you, you guys aren't team fighting correctly. If if that chrono happened and you were still alive, you guys win the fight, basically. But it's kind of like a, a spread out engagement. Also, Enigma bought awful items. He bought, like, the dumbest, greediest items I've ever seen. That don't really help him. Like, every time he goes into Black Hole, he keeps getting silenced. He needs, like, a BKB or something. So, um... Well, they're still pushing. Do you miss in that perk right now? That minus 30 second perk? I might kill Drow here. Uh, that's probably the weak illusion. Uh, you can maybe kill her. She doesn't have that much HP. Yeah, get in there. Kill somebody. At least a Necro or somebody. The Necro! Oh god, no! Alright, you Oops. fucked up. I messed up, I did! Good Yules, that's good. So the way the Elder Titan's stun works is that when you do any source of player damage, they wake up. So you needed to ulti the Viper or the Necro, and he would have died instantly. Oh shit! Um, I had no idea. So just push out the lanes here with your team. So after this, I uh, oh yeah, I was saying earlier that I often oh yeah, I'm still poisoned, so I'm still taking damage. It's okay. That that poison is too. It doesn't count for it. What were you saying? I often get a relatively a early. Yeah. That guy's got a shadow blade. Chase him. He's got, he's kind of low mana. If you get a Yule, so you can kill him. Pretty sure. Or that. <laughs> Just end it. La la la. I did it wrong. Okay. Let me let me see. They have. Why well, everyone's still alive? How much money yeah. do we have? Arcanes. You're very close to your item. Um, kill the centaur camp for now, because you'll have oh, yeah. uh, the staff then. I'm actually going to work my way over here. That's perfect. Bottle on the way. This bottle is bottle on the way. so inadequate towards keeping your HP full. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's see. I'm going to get the Octarine, so then I'll be able to get my Talisman back. Okay, sick. And you can ulti more often. Mm. Twice a fight, maybe. And you actually have like just stupid amounts of mana. Alright, you know what to do, right? The game does not. Okay, there la, we go. La, la, la. Right, cool. All right. And then I'm just gonna use this now and give a shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, there's some stuff happening. Um, I yep, think. So my next. I don't think oh, your yeah. BOT is next. You need something higher. You need like a BKB or something. You need you need a way to not die when the fight happens and shit hits the fan. Oh, that did so much damage. Beautiful. Careful, careful. You're standing real close to danger, bro. Remember, dude, that's how you, I do it. You got seven armor. That's it. You can't, and you don't. You didn't buy four staff. You didn't. You, you're slow. If they slow you, you're dead, basically. So don't be the one closest to where your opponents are. You want somebody else to go first, like. Do they void have a lot of stunts? Anything. Like, what would make BKB better than like just a scepter? Or not um, scepter. Uh, four staff. So the issue is that. Necro's ulti, if you get around half HP, you just die, because he's going to ulti you, and then you'll just be dead, because it does damage based on how much health is missing. So when you're around half, you just die. So, um, yeah, you, you either need to not get below half health, or you need to know that if shit hits the fan and, like, five heroes appear around you, that at least you have ten seconds where they can't just use their ulti and kill you. That yeah. would be the reason maybe you get a BKB. Um, with that said, if you BKB and draw attacks you eight times, you're probably dead anyways. So we have this, like, weird conundrum right now that we have to find a solution for. We got a pickle. We do. We could maybe buy you like a veil to give you some armor and increase your team's magic damage. It's an option, but that doesn't increase your ulti damage because you have eggs because it does pure now. So, eh. Um, you could maybe buy like. Ooh. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the item is. Maybe Shadow Blade is the easiest because when you go invis people, you're in, you're basically invulnerable. So, uh, I think honestly, right, Shadow Blade's a decent idea here. Just buy go really? go get a Shadow Blade. Yeah. We'll see. I'll, I'll look around and see what they have for items. No, oh, it's worth it. Because you can then start looking for kills without having... You should have saved that regen 100%. That was a huge waste. Holy shit! I didn't even realize I hit it. I was literally automatic. Okay. What um, is happening But with in the my Shadow life? Blade, at least, 
you you can go look for kills in dangerous places. I would walk to the top lane right now. Don't uh, not, not kill this drow. I mean, it's going to be tough. This is really don't you you're going to Yeah, this is really dangerous. You're going to have to use yourself in a second. You're you're most likely going to die. We'll see. Uh you can stun the pudge maybe or viper perhaps. This is All right. Okay. Uh, go back in. Go for Viper. Stun him at least. Alright, he's invis. So he's uh, unkillable. You need to get the hell out. Because Viper's about to pop out and kill you in like 5 hits. Any moment. Don't okay, use, I'm running. Don't use Yules like that next time. Like at this point, you shouldn't use it every time for a setup. Because okay. if you need to use it defensively, you're going to need to go with your team. Go with your team. Don't go back. It's not time. It's not time yet. Uh, yeah, pressure the tower at least. Nuke the waves out. This is fine. Uh, you, use your last bottle charge too. Alright, just see if we can get some tower damage in. I would use another nuke on the ground just to keep your attack speed up. Yep. I would use Dragon Slave next time because Light Strike Array is kind of arguably more important. Alright, you're good. Uh, go run all the way to the top lane. Uh, check for rune top rune, I think. And then, if that's not there, you can't take ru uh, This is really dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, just just help him, Mike. Oh, God, this is so stupid. They're up so soon. You can maybe do it. Just just use your Light Strike Array repeatedly. Don't use Dragon Slave because you need the mana a little bit. And I would also move a little bit to the left and the pit because right now you're at the mouth. Don't get too close to Roche though because then he'll clap. I think I'm out of clap range. That's good. Just right click. I don't know why it's not. Oh, wow. Oh, if you stand okay. here, it thinks it's, I'm out of the pit. It's just coded badly. That's all. All right, keep on stunning. So I need a mana item next, I think. No, you're fine. You have uh, you have tons and tons of int, and you've got a Yules, so you've got enough mana. Um, I think the SB is a good choice. Just uh, I would probably sell your Null Talisman now. Perfect. Oh yeah, already did. And then boom. So your goal, oh, instantly Viper bought a dust. That's weird. Does somebody on your team have Invis? Oh, he just literally just bought that randomly. Maybe he's watching the stream. La, la, la. All right, just go top, this? push out a little bit. And I think now is a good time to get Boots of Travel. Huh? Yeah, I'm I'm cool with it now. This is a decent time. Wow, this is this is it is crazy to be even push varying one more wave. Because you can see two heroes on the three. I see four heroes on the map. Push the wave. Yep. Straight to the wave. What were you saying? Crazy to I have one. Uh, this much consideration of the variety of the build for me. Like for me, I just. I just do the build, you know what I mean? I would go one more wave, but go through the jungle on the way there. And farm these camps. Hey. Alright, move on to that bounty. Um, I would get your TP ready, I would swap it out with your bottle, because you may need to TP to fight the bot lane. I would TP to your racks when you can. Your bottom tower Maybe. Uh, yeah, just keep nuking. Just nuke again. All right, they're going back. Now you need to back up and TP bottom. All right, back up, 100% TP bot. And force of okay, it's too late. Stay top. See if you can kill this necro. Uh, let's see. I don't oh, know if I have mana. Yeah. Ooh. It's gonna be close. I would just nuke out the wave more. At least the tower's dead. So the reason I wanted you to fight there is because as he TPs to your lane, that means that they don't have five there anymore. Which means that you should be able to just farm neutrals on the way, and then you'll have BOTs. If he TPs top, you could TP bottom and take a 5v4, basically. So that's why it would have been a good time. And I would kill this creep wave next to you, with the neutral next oh, to you. Oh, it doesn't go in. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's in the back. Something like this. I'm just standing in the middle and I'm going home. It's fine. Oh, the enemy creeps! Yeah. Okay. Um, the only other thing I would consider buying is maybe like a dust. Just because it will help you kill Viper if you ever gank him. But just head mid and push out lanes again. Oh, there's a fight. This is actually a really good fight if you can get there. It's gonna be going on for a while. Use a nuke on the way to get there faster. You have so much mana, it's totally fine. And you have Octarine, so your spells are off cooldown fast. Oh, time for dust! It's not ready. Just just chase towards where Drow is. It's the one that's running. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yes. He has. Cool. Uh, okay, push out bottom. Don't go mid because your team's already going mid. If everybody goes mid, then 
bottom gets pushed out in sure. a bad way. So I would nuke this like twice and then consider TPing to the top lane to push top as well. Because they have a dead hero here. So just okay. go, keep going, keep going, push it out. Oh, I thought you meant like literally just do a wave and then go. No, no. There's two dead heroes, you're good. If things really hit the fan, you got Shadow Blade and hopefully Viper's not there. Alright, I would go hide in the trees and then TP to the top creep wave now. Okay, good. Nuke this out. Ugh, okay, now so we head powerful. to the jungle. Minus four second dragon slave. Yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, it was that or plus one fine this list. Uh, push wave. One more. Always up. I can always dragon slave. Infinite dragon slaves. Yeah, pretty much. So next item that we can consider, um, something like a Shiva's guard wouldn't be bad. Don't forget the Sarge camp over here, to your left. You're forgetting. The creeps oh, want to feel equal, man. It's not going to die like that, but you'll get the small ones at least. Fine, sir. This is okay. Well, there's probably a big satyr, is my guess. Left. There. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you know, it feels okay to me. You drink, drink a so little bit. Grabbing Silver Edge. Uh, I think I'm good with that. I, I'm mm -hmm. okay with that. Um, do you know how Silver Edge functions? Yeah. I attack out of Silver Edge. They deal less damage, and it removes their passives. That's correct. So the heroes you're going to be looking to use that on would be maybe like Veno, Necro. Draw Ranger, something like that is ideal. This is kind of dangerous position for you, so just nuke this really? and get out. Yeah, because you don't, you don't you don't know where they are right now. The map's dark. You guys have basically no wards. Definitely just sit back. I actually like the minus four Dragon Slave because you have Octarine. I think that makes it pretty worth it. But your guys' goal is just push out lanes pretty much. Hopefully know where they are, and then uh, you can take fights. Instantly uh, run so to the top lane to go push. Yeah, I should run because we don't know where they are, so I'll need my boots of travel to get somewhere. Yeah, basically. It's a little safer that way. But kind of same principle. Go to go to a lane, push it out, and then hopefully see if we get an engagement. Good. So sick. Let's go ahead and get... So just kind of follow your team over here. Your team actually has pretty good items. I think you guys will be okay. Oh, finally a smoke's happening. Oh, shit. See, Seder. Called it. Alright, now you guys are looking for the party. So try to stay on high ground as you're running through their jungle, because otherwise you could be walking up a cliff when the smoke breaks. But more, more likely than not, they're sitting over by their other fountain, I would expect. La la la. La la la. <laughs> That's what I do every time. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, up like here, they're, up here. they're up on the cliff. Oh, that's good. You might want to get back because you got Venom ulti. Just Shadow Blade and run a little bit. Now adjust, uh, go on the Viper maybe. Uh, pop your oh. dust. Alright, that was maybe a mistake, but so now you're probably dead. Oh, Yules, Yules, Yules. That is actually going to save your life. Run. Just don't stop running. Hit up that, that Never fountain. Never oh, stop gone. running. Alright, this was genuinely... A oh, your courier died. That sucks. Genuinely a good fight. Um, I think you just... Yeah, push out mid and then TP home. 22 HP, pretty close. A classic save. A classic dish. Well, I'm just going to say that wasn't my fault. I really wish the courier were alive. All right, how just, much do we uh, have left? Yeah, just run back. It's fine. Hello. Hello, doggy. I promise I'll play with you All soon. Right, we got that now. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's your item on the courier? Is that what happened? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's some stuff happening over here by the fountain. You can do it, Life Stealer. God, if you have any more time. Oh, okay. that's unreasonably awesome. The smart TP. All right, this would be a good time to Shadow Blade. So you're <laughs> ideally not next to the creep wave. So that he doesn't know you're coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, he grabbed an illusion. So keep running. What are you scared of, dude? That's just a couple illusions. All right, they have a they have a sentry there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there he is. What? Oh, he has a uh. he has a silver edge. That guy's actually really farmed. This is so dangerous. You're just yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, 
Hey, well, we now have the you delight got... of 130 seconds to just spend time with oh, each other. God, you're dead for so long. That's I, so old, dude. I'm just infinitely fucking dead, man. Okay, so mistakes. You got galed. You were poison stinged, which basically means you're slower than normal and you're taking tons of damage, and you're at half <laughs> HP. And you're like, I'll run uphill <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> I'll kill a man. Oh. <laughs> 100 more to go, and you'll be there. Silver Edge was so not going to save you there, that's for sure. Oh, this game of Lindo is really fun. Like, it finally clicks when you say, oh, yeah, no, just push the wave and then go do something else. Because, I mean, I, I only heard that when I was playing Viper, uh -huh. where I couldn't couldn't do anything. I was like, all right, let's let's push the wave. Yeah. 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 Like, try to pick them off one at a time. But with Lena, you clear it, and then you have all the freedom in the world to go somewhere else. If you're alive. Oh my god, it just feels like really nice. Yeah, if you're alive. But you know, you don't you don't have to like talk about that at ever. You're dead for so long. Okay. Let's uh talk about next item build. What do you what do you think? What are you thinking? So I want to save for buyback and then probably get something um that complements the fact that I have attack damage and speed from the shadow blade, so like Bloodborne. That's an option. How do you feel about buying a refresher orb? I don't understand how like how to do that properly, except in like really specific circumstances. Because it seems like it would only be useful for my ulti. Yeah, that's pretty much the case. Um, but you could also, for example, if you want to go on somebody that's solo, you could use them, drop your stun, ulti, refresh, ulti, and then stun them again. So they'd be stunned for like five seconds, and they would take. 1700 pure damage not counting your spell amp of which you have about 15 so they take like 15 percent extra than that i can do the math if you don't mind so it's like what 1700 times uh 1.15 so if you get refresh orb you could do you could basically one shot anybody below 1955 hp should i push out bottom or is that just way too risky uh it's kind of far i think it's too risky i honestly i think refresher could be really good at this point because you have octarine because you have ags because you have yules and silver edge and you have so much mana you have like 3k mana you can definitely double ulti someone so i'm, I'm gonna start looking at their hp totals all right so i just said you could do 1955 with two ults right viper yeah. currently has 2060 hp so if you did any other damage to him like a dragon slave and two ults he dies necro has 2400 Drow and has 1920. Should I actually be buying these items? Because I like now is when I begin to save for buyback. Um, now is a decent time to save for buyback, yeah. You don't really want to make the refresher until your items are like actually maxed up. Um, this is good. Push the wave. And then just auto-attack here. If, if you're waiting for your nukes to come off cooldown, just auto-attack. You don't have to double dragon slave like this. You need to TP back now and get ready to fight. Yep, yep. Nuke it out. You're sitting a little bit too far forward, by the way. Don't forget the range of your hero and your cast range. You want to sit at the extremities, because things like that are going to happen where you almost get hooked. Keep casting... Uh, your mana's a little low. I guess that's fine. Yep, this is fine. Just push things out. And should I chuck this bottle since I have my... Um, and just replace it with, like, the Void Stone? It's probably fine, yeah. Oh, look. Free gold. Be a little careful that you're not going to get hooked during this. Yeah, I see Pudge mid. Okay, you're good then. Money. I think you can outrange those. I'm pretty sure. I wish this life still had any damage items. Ugh. Oh, how I wish. All right, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to buy one of these. I'm going to switch uh, it in there. Uh, okay. I don't think it was time to do that because you could have had buyback right now. I guess that's fine. Uh, uh, the mana is not terrible to have. Wait, do I not have buyback? You don't anymore. Hover your mouse oh. over your gold thing. Yeah, no, I just I just math wrong. I thought that I had just enough to be able to buy this and sell that. I don't I don't know what I did wrong with my math, but I was nearly certain. You're off by about 780 gold, so it's uh, it was not close. Yeah, we we must have done something real wrong. That's okay. I mean, I really struck. Just keep running. Just keep running. You uh, okay? You're, you're okay. Just keep running. You're okay. Uh, oh yeah, duh, Silver Edge. Uh, you need to yules yeah. yourself and get on the fountain now. Get the fountain, yules. Alright, you are... Fine, we are fine! Oh, he's denying you! That bastard! That void genuinely tried to throw just now. Holy crap, that, I'm actually reporting that guy. 
That was real throwy. Or he's just terrible. I'm not sure. Holy cow. I can't believe it. I was like, who's attacking you? Oh, God. What is happening? Yeah, look at that. I was like stunned for a moment. I was like, ah! Okay, I gotta remember Silver Edge because I genuinely did forget it in yeah, that fight. Alright, go, go, go engage. Try to take a fight if possible. Push the lanes out. And basically, if anyone on your team actually would buy wards and place them in places, it would make this game a lot easier. Use them nukes. You're, you're not auto attacking enough. You should be basically like, if you're not auto attacking, you should be casting a spell. So as soon as you cast a spell, get back to the auto attacking almost every time. Careful, careful. Try to kill the wards first if possible. And then approach forward and use nukes again. Alright, going. It's time to party. Kill the necro. Good. Chase, chase, chase. Stun the pudge. For some reason, I. Oh, you're good. You did it. The venom might go invis. Okay, great. Alright, you guys wrecked him. Uh, TP top lane right now, and go push it out. I can afford buyback. Good. God, my health regeneration is the lowest thing I've ever seen. It's fine. It just cast spells on creeps, you'll get lifesteal from it. Oh, what from? Octarine Core. 25% of the damage you do, you lifesteal. I always forgot Against about heroes. that. Against creeps, it's 5%, so it's much less, but still it helps. Why did he say effing void? I'm not sure. I I muted them all. Oh, okay. That's uh that's safe. They weren't the, the most pleasant bunch. Alright, I would say this is starting to get dangerous. You push this lane a while. I would uh head to the jungle now. Perfect. The large camp, I'm remembering it this oh, time. Nice. I'm experiencing sensations I've never felt before. Learning! I would consider silver edging through their jungle right now. That would have been a decent time to go look for kill. Okay. I think you know it's what? maybe more likely they're in your jungle, but just doing tricky okay. stuff like this. Even if it's like like go straight okay. for this guy. If oh or Viper, you can maybe kill him. Okay, you fucked up. Get out. Just run. Why? Just run. Because you, you didn't use your silver edge hit, number one. Therefore you didn't remove his passive, therefore he doesn't take less magic damage. And you also completely ruin the element of surprise. If you're ganking and you use a Yules, you're not just like setting up your stun, you're buying him two and a half seconds to react to you being there. So you so, super messed up by Yulesing. Attack him, so, stun him, then ulti and right click the shit out of him. So I, it should have been attack W, Q, ulti, lift, then W, Q, since that would have bought me enough time to use my cooldowns again? No, you, you, you need to kill him during the first stun duration, otherwise you need to leave. Try to, try to gap close here, you can maybe take a fight. This looks decent. Uh, maybe not, get out now. This is scary now. Okay. Um, I think you're pretty close to your refresher. Yep. Uh, I, I have a, still have a 270 some surplus, so I'm just buying items one at a time. That sounds fine. I think it's okay to delay it a little bit. You can. Oh, ancients are dead, actually. Oh, just move I think to I the go other top clump. now? Yeah, uh, that could work, yeah, that's fine. Because there were a lot of heroes mid, I doubt they're up here. And it's too bad those don't get nuked anymore. I would use Silver Edge and run forward. See if you find anything, grab the bounty on the way. Okay, the and so You're more likely I, to find I am jungle. attack stunning out of this, is that attack, right? Attack, and then stun, and use ult. Basically stun, ult, and right clicks are going to do the most damage right now. Uh, nuke the wave, and then I would get ready to TP home. You didn't find anybody, no big deal. But just occasionally doing sweeps like that can absolutely change a game. Because wow. getting a kill right now means that... Um, okay, they're chasing you, but that's okay. Just TP. He can't stun you. Just a draw ranger, unless he has an MKB. But he won't find you nope. in time. Um, Does Hurricane Pike stop that? Nope. It just moves you. It doesn't stop TPs. Um, head to the All bounty right. rune. Continue farming. If you really wanted okay, to be tricky, so. something you could have done there was TP to the bot lane and then push that one instead. But... Sometimes that takes a little bit of foresight. Since when have I shown any of that? <laughs> Ugh. All right, and eight hundred ninety-two gold. Okay, I am so close to a fresher. So what on earth is that? Right? Buyback. 
I need 100. Um, there's no way. Yeah, I have a surplus of 900. That's if you buy back, you have 900 left over. It's not the other way around. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought the re no, I thought the recipe was Be careful. Uh, they, a thousand. They could, they could definitely go in any moment. Okay, I see. But uh, the, the surplus is how much you have after you've bought back. So. Yes. Uh, you, you said something, and like I didn't quite process it in the slightest. So I may have just repeated to you what you, you said to you me. Did. But yeah. okay, tight. That feels good. It feels good to know. You figured it out. It's like they do this in science, where you did the experiment, and then I did the experiment. We got the same results. Oh, nice. It's been verified. Okay. Um, I would TP to the top lane after this camp. I feel like that. I would go to your creep wave that's moving still. Don't TP to where the creep actively is. Perfect. Because that way they don't see you coming. And it lowers I'm going to do the same thing, where I just WQ, try to kill them all. Oh, next time I would put the stun on the range creeps, because they're worth more gold. And it's difficult to last at them. Alright, I would invis probably right now. Just do it. See? Just safety. What the fuck? Oh, someone's there. Run home, run home, run home. This is so dangerous. Yeah, go to the guy in the mid. That's perfect, because you just saw like two to three heroes where you were. Yeah. Ping the shit out of it. Maybe you'll get a... If you can use him, do it. Nah, he's got an invis. It's going to be tar tough. Swap out the dust. You need dust in case it's... Uh... And you can buy the recipe now. Alright, that was okay. Yeah. Um... That TP that we saw was somebody using Boots to Travel level 2 on an invis hero, I think. Or I think it was an invis hero dipping out. Also possible. Someone could TP while using... So here's the next downside, is that now you won't have Dust of Appearance. Oh, that guy should really be dead right now. I don't know why Enigma didn't go for it. Um, so, but so I just keep my Refresher Orb here. And yeah, yeah. explain to me again... Just yields this guy? Yeah, yeah. kills. Just How did that miss? Ulti him twice. Refresh ulti. Refresh ulti. Okay, you got him. So then I put this away. Uh, that can work. Stun this guy. You're gonna have to TP home. TP home right now. Oh, that was a huge stun. Alright. I'm not in the fight anymore. Great. Do you know why Sorry, you TP? No, I have absolutely no idea. I just do what I'm told. Okay. Oh, that was the poison Nova? Yeah, yeah. You were going to die if you didn't TP. 100%. Your HP was low enough. So this might be a time where BKB is a good choice. You could hypothetically... Uh, what would I sell? Um, Maybe you'll... Uh, start running back to, to the fight. So when you're getting kind of close, you can use Shadow Blade. Like, these guys might group and push. Start moving forward. I would use SB now. And head to your bounty rune. Head to your bounty rune. Look for a yeah. hero. You're looking for an easy kill. Oh, Yules. Oh, nice. Just stun ult. Great. Okay. Perfect. Alright. Uh, TP, TP, TP. TP home. TP, 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 TP. Ah, TP. fucking... Alright, you're good. Ah! See how much damage you're taking? It, it actually does so much damage. It, it's doing more than the fountain is healing you right now. You should Yules again. Yules again, seriously. There's, you're fine, but like... That's another way to stop damage for two and a half, so... There's your there's your solution to, to Venomancer. <laughs> Just leaving. Just... Ah! All right. All right. So we killed this bottom thing, and they have two dead. So I guess we push. Oh, there's a Venomancer. So I pushed top. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so to review the, how the refresher thing works, you got it in combat, but if you would use it faster, he would have died. He got a lot of regen going in the middle of it, but just stun, ulti, refresh, ulti. So that's R, W, Z, W. Okay. Yeah. And then you can stun again if they're still not dead. And if you really want to, you can fit in Silver Edge in there. It's definitely a possibility. Just kind of difficult. See, once you mention the right click thing, I am now doing an excess of right clicks. Yeah. And you can, like, do one per dude, and it's great. Okay, um, so I would. Short. Yeah, perfect. Is a blade? You know what? Enigma? Oh. Somebody was here less than a minute ago, but it's not a big deal. It could be anywhere. Oh, oh. This guy? Attack and, and stun. Attack stun. 
Just stun. Oh, fuck. Alright, I, I would leave. All you do do is stun. He, he didn't know you were there. Just, um... Yeah, I was just surprised when my invisible-ness broke, uh, and I was just, ah, 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 ah. I was just startled. Right, you can push this now. You could have attacked there for bonus damage, don't forget. Oh, does bonus damage attack out of Yeah, silver for a regular, both both Shadow Blade and Silver Edge. It's a lot, it's 225 physical. So it's basically like a double damage hit. I would use Shadow Blade here, go check where their bounty rune is. Basically, you're looking for picks right now, you're trying to win the game for your yeah. team. And the only way that happens is if somebody gets a kill, and it's going to have to be you because your team's fed. I'm... Oh. Uh, Mother uh, fuck. Go, just okay. Refresh, ulti. And then attack, you got this! Ugh, okay, oh, you did you it! Invis, Invis, Invis! Invis! Oh. Alright, Invis. They might not have detection. They oh. Have... No, you broke your Invis, actually. Yeah, you li you literally broke your own Invis. I'm not sure what you did, but... That's what I did, I used it. I just... I gotta say, I'm not sure what I did. You messed something up. You might have right-clicked briefly. May yeah, no, I mean, I was click spamming away. You may have put a Plague Ward down that I attacked or something? Uh, possibly. Could have been something like that. Well, fuck. I can go. Do this. God, I took so many spells on that guy. Yeah, and, and it eventually works, right? Yeah, eventually. Eventually works. That's fine. Whoa! And you sound very quiet right now. Okay, somebody, somebody in chat says you right-clicked him in a word. Hey, you guys are winning. Cool. Oh... I'm sure that guy should have popped BKB. I'm sure this Veno or this Life Stealer should have literally any farm. Okay. Hey, Void's doing something. Hey. I think you guys might. You might actually win. <laughs> Shit, man. Okay, so here's a here's an item swap you can do. Um, you can do hex instead of Yules. You'll lose movement speed, but you'll get the same mana regen, and you'll get a way better active, arguably, except for the whole like non dying thing. Because then you don't even have to do Yule stun. You can just hex somebody and they're stunned, and then you can refresh and get another hex. That's two hexes. You can do it right now if you want, or push bottom. That's a good idea. I like that. I, I don't quite have it now. Don't you? Uh, 4,000? But when you sell Yules, you'll get, like, 1,300. You, you've got it. I can afford it. You just have to sell the Yules. Oh, you're gonna mess up that shrine? Uh, go mid, go mid. I'm sorry. This is... Go, just go, go mid. I'm gonna kill a shrine with two dead! Hey! <laughs> uh, is that you sending the courier out, or somebody else? Yeah. Uh, you don't need it. You've got all the items on the courier. Yeah, I'm trying to send it to myself. Oh, kill this guy. Oh, yes. It's a good try. Uh, just kill the buildings and the creeps and stuff. Nuke them, creeps. Alright, your first racks, guys. Oh, oh my god. Rage quit! Maybe. Right, I'm worried about you getting hooked right now. There we go. That's right, stand in those Eidolons. Alright, I would consider just backing up and going to get a shrine now. But it kind of depends on what your life stealer here does. He apparently wants to fight. Alright, he's gonna- we're, we're fighting. the distance. You will find his prey. What? I'm silent. You wanna hex the necro? Hex and ulti? Double ulti? Wait a sec to okay. use it. Alright, hex this guy. Hex him, hex him. Alright, cast your spells and TP home. TP home! You're gonna die. Oh, TP. Do you uh, I guess you're okay. You know what, man? That's gonna Fuck be pretty close. This shit. I'm going home. I am losing hundreds of health. Holy god, that's so yeah. much. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Yo, this Venom's a pretty good player, oh. I must say. Do these super late, 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 late games trying to manage all my buttons. That was going to take a lot of practice. Yeah, it's going to make you appreciate watching pro games a lot more, too. You're full HP, you should probably go do something. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not dead. I'm just watching the fight. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Alright, yeah, you gotta TP. You, you could just TP back. Uh, I would go... Oh, you're going there? Okay, I like this. Nuke it up. Get them Raxes. Use your nukes. You did it. Oh, okay, so it's a Pudge and a Drow. There's Drow, go kill her. Just give her the Hex. So that she can't... Just hex, Hex, Hex the Drow. Going in. Alright, run away now. The, the zoning... The zoning slave. Yeah, there's there's zoning slave number two. It's working. I really feel the power of the fire flowing through me. Dude, the early game was so much more fun than it really is. It probably, just because a little direction makes a huge difference. Just knowing when you should be somewhere. And I'm sure your GPM is insane. It's probably close to 700 at least. Whereas typically you're probably around like 480 maybe. Uh, five, can you can you can you dive somebody right now? What are you waiting for, man? Come on. No, I'm not doing that. No, are you kidding me? Go look, kill this somebody. Is, this is... Look at this necro. It's like right there. Beautiful. You need to hex. Okay. Well. See, look. Uh, here I go. I'm tower diving. Oh, you're dead now. Mountain diving, excuse me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it! I okay. tower died, or fountain died. Okay, not bad. 18, 6, and 12? 18, 5, and 12. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna count Last that one. one. It's count. on the board, dude. I, my eyes don't deceive me. No! It's not an alternate effect. That won't work on me. Holy shit, I was wealthy. Holy shit. Yeah, I was So, 16. yeah, 624 GPM. Um, you had 450 last hits. You had the most last hits in the game, and you're not even technically a carry. It's just you had mana and you had dragon slave, and you you dragon slaved creeps. I hit the buttons, man. You did. Your net worth was the highest. Uh, how much damage did you do? 42k. That's pretty good. You did the most on your team. I'm actually surprised the life stealer did that much. That guy he did not buy the right items in the right order. 75k damage. Good lord. Who did 75k? Oh, the Venom. Yeah. Holy cow. That's X man. It does a lot of damage. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, dude. I like because it didn't register uh, how much damage is actually dealt by that until everyone was dead. And you were like, you should TP. Ah, uh, maybe not. And then I just like look at my health and it drops like a hundred a second. Oh yeah, it's it does. It does a lot. Let me look at the hero specifically. I can give you exact values. Um, at, uh, level, level 3, it does, uh, 80 damage per second, but with the Scepter, it does 110. Um, and the cooldown is 60 with eggs. So, and, and that does that for 16 seconds. So it's basically, like, 1700 AoE damage in a team fight. Ah! And then if he gales you, that does about 500 damage. And if he attacks you with Poison Sting, that's another 24 per second for 15 seconds. So you're basically taking buttloads of damage. The solution is TP, obviously. Wow. Um, but I guarantee that if, if I wasn't here to tell you to TP, that there would have been a lot of moments where you just, like, kept fighting, and all of a sudden you're dead, and you're like, what? How did I die? I guarantee that would have happened, and then you would have looked at the yeah. drop bar and been like, oh, I took this much damage from Venomancer. But the, the important thing is that every time that you TP'd that the fight had already gone decently for you guys, if the fight starts with Venom, like, bombing five of you, you guys are done. It's over. Unless you have BKBs to stop the magic damage for 10 seconds. But Oh, does it just turn it off? It doesn't, it doesn't block it. It doesn't remove it. It just prevents it from dealing damage for the 10 seconds that it's up. I see. Okay. So it gives you a window, but it's not the best solution. The best solution is kill Venno first. Um, don't let him cast it on you. You know, force a fight in a way where you disable Venno, chain stun him, kill him. Stuff like that would be a good solution. Yeah, so I think the, the big takeaways I have from this game are to be just simply right-clicking more. Absolutely. Uh, in my enemy heroes in lane, and to just be okay with, you know, taking a hit from the creeps or two, but that won't happen a lot of the times because of yep. the insane range. Um, and that I can actually just nuke slowly over time and burn through their regen while creep wave clearing and all that stuff. Yeah. And set up easy kills, like we did against Bill Doberman. Oh, yeah, Bill. Oh, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> like, Good old uh, Bill Doberman. What? So, yeah, just uh, push lanes. Um, do yeah, stuff. The, the push do shit is 
like so eye opening to me. Having just focused so much on the lane, the idea of like you know just quickly kill this, now go somewhere else. Yeah. And because Lane is able to kill so fast, was able to arrive at the lane right when the creeps met again. And I'd like to point out that you had you didn't really have that same potential in the second game you played earlier today. And do you know what the difference was? Like you mean the second game that I played with Lena? Yeah, where you played Lena on your stream earlier today. Well, the primary difference is I didn't have Coach Purge, but beyond that, okay. I do not recognize what the difference um, would be between. Number one, the laning stage went worse, obviously, but the important thing is that you didn't have a ton of, you didn't have like a surplus of mana at some point. So because you were behind the curve and you had wasted your mana a little bit in the laning stage, you were likely always behind on having full mana pool and getting like fast arcane yeah. boots, for example. So it doesn't as well or allow you to push out lanes because your mana pool is always lower. So sometimes like getting the fast bottle into arcane boots makes a huge difference and buying like a raindrop there it just makes your curve in that like eight minute to 15 minute period so the, much better the raindrops were amazing at how much mana they were generated like it, it might have been play style based as well but it is really good it's yeah. 0.85 a basilius or an aqua it gives you 0.65 so it's a 225 gold yeah. item you usually want to buy one after you get like your boots and like if you're a Viper, for example, and you really wanted to get one, which you could some games, you would go like Boots, Aquila, maybe Magic Wand with a Raindrop if you think you're going to get ganked a lot. Then it's really yeah. good. Huh. Damn. And Shit. Just, you sell it later or it dies off normally. Just gives you a lot of mana over the, the laning stage. And when you get ganked, you have a lot more survivability. It's basically a stout shield for magic damage is the way to explain it. Is how the huh. things work. That's cute. Anything well, that... else? How'd that feel? Good game, right? Felt good. That felt so good. I mean, like, once it got to mid-game towards the end, it was obviously very useful to have you, like, guiding things through. But I think, like, the start was so fun. It was so fun, and I felt so much power when normally, you know, you don't. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you're afraid of the dark. And it's like, mm -hmm. look, just, just go in there. And you're yeah, like, oh, there's, that, just, like, nothing bad. You're just a viper. We just kill him. It's yeah. no problem. That's almost all of Dota is just understanding how strong somebody actually is and then playing around it. So that's why... In some ways, you can't just instantly become good at Dota because you have to understand how strong Viper is at yeah. minute three, how strong Viper is at minute 330, how strong Viper is at all stages of the game. And it all obviously slightly adjusts or changes based on what items he gets, what skills he gets, um, how well he did in his lane. This game, it was kind of straightforward because you killed him twice, but he still killed you once because you made a mistake. So there's always this yeah. like weird balance of basically the best players in the world know when their opponents are out of position before they do, and then they punish them. So that's what you have to refine just by playing a lot of games. This was okay, just, we well. just covered pattern stuff, but you got to get the, the the game grind on now, basically. Well, that's no problem. I can grind games. I know how to do that. I just hit go. Yeah, that's true. So easy. And someday I'll make you play a, a hero that you're not very comfortable with. Maybe next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit me with it. Uh, did you have any itemization questions, by the way? Because I know that things felt different this game. Yeah, I mean, the, the big thing was... I typically just followed a build that I saw yeah. in some pro match, right? Like a few times. I just would go Arcane Boots into Yules, into Aether Lens, into Boots of Travel, into Aghanim Scepter. Yep. And this was pre-backpack. Um, and that, that build's out of date right now, I think, pre for this that, patch. Yeah, and I have no idea why or for what reason. But, like, you know, when you say don't get the Aether Lens, just get the plus 125 range. I'm like... Huh. And then I just instantly got Aghanims because I was like, well, I want to really kill some yeah. shit then. Then you're um, like 2,000 gold closer to Aghanims. And you had a you had a range disadvantage. You only had uh, 125 cast range instead of 200. And yeah. you had 5% less spell damage and less HP regen. But compared to having a faster Ags, it was like worth it. I think it was, it was pretty worth it that game against all the magic resistance. Yeah, yeah. So you just have to... It's, it's difficult to do item stuff. And to be honest, I'm sure your build wasn't perfectly min-maxed, but... Um, th that's probably the one part of the game that I that I truly love focusing on is taking a situation and thinking what is truly the best item for this moment. And yeah, that's what yeah. we're doing next week, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe that's two weeks uh, ago in the future. Well, uh, what's 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 on the docket for next week? And what should I what should I do for homework? I believe next week we are finally talking about um, item mechanics. Let me check. Uh, by that I mean I'm gonna like super break down. Um, We've, we've talked a lot about item values so far, but we'll talk a lot about item values next week, I believe. Just pulling oh, the is, it, is it the week of maths? Yes, it's basically going to be the most math-heavy episode, most likely. Um, we're talking about 
Um, usually in, in Dota, people use the word mechanics not just for how you use your hero, but also the mechanics of the game. How does the game fit together gear-wise, you know? Um, yeah. And a lot of the mechanics are pretty much based on how Warcraft 3 is. Do you, did you play Warcraft 3 that much? Not only did I play quite a bit, but I recently replayed all the way through the campaign. Okay, and but, I mean, like, the way that the pathing and the motion and the movement works is, like, so interesting. Uh, okay, it's more about, like, how the balance between damage and armor and magic resistance and stuff like that works. It's kind of... That's, that's usually... The, Let, the, the let's go with part. probably not. I might know some random tidbits here and there. Well, I'm happy to hear that because then I have something to teach you next week. So next week, mechanics lessons. And uh, we'll do some drills too where we get to fight each other with unlimited gold. It'll be fun. Yay! All well, right, dude, that's I'm going to go eat as much as I can because uh, I've been hungry all day. Uh, I'm actually hungry too. I'm going to go make sure my dog is okay. She's sleeping right now. Okay. Sick. All right. Girl, girlfriend's been taking care of her. I'm going to go relieve. All right. Thanks for thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, uh, Sean, for hanging out, and uh, hope everybody learned something. Thanks for the learnings, Kevin. I hope you'll bye punch guys. a dog, man. I won't. Hopefully, I won't have to punch a dog anymore. Okay. Bye, guys.